Hi guys, so I too am also questioning why I'm wearing such like heavy grungy makeup with grey lipstick and a pink jumper. I don't really know like what I'm doing. Also it's really bothering me how now that I've put in these like two blonde highlights in the front of my head, I didn't think of how it would affect my hair in a ponytail and now I just have like a blonde stripe in the middle of my hair. What do I do about this? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to like colour it in every time I put my hair in a ponytail because I don't know, it looks weird, like especially in the viewfinder it looks really really odd. But anyway, today's video is going to be a good old fashioned haul video. And my past couple of haul videos have been um, a lot of stuff that I've been sent from people, whereas today's haul is actually a bunch of stuff that I've bought all of it myself. Um, I went shopping the other day with my best friend Ellie, um, and I got a bunch of things. I treated myself to some stuff, so I thought I would show you guys what I got in this video. Also just a quick heads up, I have a giveaway going over, going on over on my Instagram which is just Soph Does Nails and also I'm uploading a lot more on my second channel which is Soph Does Vlogs um, and I'm going to be posting a very exciting vlog which is from the benefit trip that I went on recently. It was such a good trip, I'm sure you guys have seen a bunch of other vlogs from YouTubers that went, um, I know that Saffron and Anastasia and Sophie Foster and a bunch of other people have already uploaded their benefit vlogs, mine is coming a bit late but it is on its way. So the first thing that I actually got, um, it what the hell is that noise? It's so the first thing that I actually got is this jumper that I'm wearing right now. Um, I got this in Topshop. It says New York City on it. And it's basically just like a cropped pink jumper. Wait, let me just kneel up and show you guys. So, I mean, it's kind of supposed to be cropped. I got this from the petite section. So, it's a little bit shorter than the other one. But it is... It is kind of cropped still. And for some reason at the moment, I've just been kind of obsessed with like sweatshirts and stuff. I am such an autumn winter person, as you can probably tell from my makeup. Like, oh my god, I'm so excited. Like, you don't even understand how excited I am for like September, October, November, December. Um, yeah, I really can't wait. Sorry that I'm one of those annoying people that's like wishing away the summer, but the British summer is so bad that like, it doesn't even really exist. Like today, literally rained all day. Um, I have been basically like living in sweatshirts like this recently. I have a Jack Skellington one, which I've been wearing around the house loads. And then I have like a Brandy Melville rip off one, which is like the gray one with the little alien. And I saw this one and it was literally just like speaking to me. I walked into the shop and I was like, that is so cute. I picked it up in the regular size, but then as I was walking around, I saw that they did have it in the petite section, which made me very happy because I'm only five foot two. So a lot of things come up long on me. Um, and I do like my sweatshirt sleeves to be a little bit long um, but like even on the petite one the sleeves are supposed to be shorter but they're still like a little bit long for me but I quite like that um, so yeah I absolutely love this jumper it was £24 which is quite a lot like I don't normally spend that amount of money like on just a sweatshirt because I'm cheap um, I normally get like everything in Primark and stuff but I don't know I just loved it so much and I did also get a student discount which knocked off 10% the next piece of clothing that I got was actually a jacket and I don't know what's happening to I don't know what's happened to me. I never ha like wear pink or like blush or like that sort of colour. Like it's just not really me. I feel like this colour doesn't actually really suit me that much, but with blue jeans it looks kinda cute. Um but I got another thing that's kind of like a pinky nude sort of colour, which I feel like is way too girly for me. But again, I saw this jacket when I went into Zara. I've never bought anything from Zara in my life. Um but I saw this and it was just speaking to me like at the time I was wearing some high-waisted mom jeans or like mom jeans and I just thought they look, this looks so cool. I tried it on. They did also have it in black but I already have a black leather jacket and they had it in bright mustard yellow as well. Which I kind of want to get all of them because I just love it so much. So it's a fake leather jacket um, and it has these little like frills on it. Um, I feel like this is so overly girly. I might wear it to the summer in the city, I don't know. I just thought it was so cute and it's got little like cropped sleeves and it is cropped like it's very kind of like cute and dinky and short um, and this was 29 95 which I thought for something in Zara like a Zara jacket was a pretty good deal I mean oh my god it looks it looks so ugly with this jumper underneath obviously I would not wear it with this especially this colour underneath like I would just wear it with like a t-shirt underneath and then some jeans but I just thought it was so cute like the little like frilly sleeves I thought it was such a cute kind of like summer smart-ish jacket and when I put it on it just made me feel really fashionable so um, and also as I was trying this on a lovely subscriber came over to me and we had our photo taken and I was literally wearing this jacket in the photo like with the tags hanging off um, 
she was so so sweet i did also meet another subscriber in zara as well who was also lovely and we took a really cute photo with the dog field <coughs> Okay, what the hell just happened? Something just got stuck in my throat. We took a really cute photo with the dog filter. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for coming over and like having a little chat with me and stuff. You were both so lovely. Um, so yeah, so this is actually the last piece of clothing that I got. Um, this was in Primark. These were six pounds. And it is a pair of grey tracksuit bottoms. You guys might remember months and months ago, like literally months ago, in a haul video, I said that I was looking for a pair of grey tracksuit bottoms. Every time I've been into Primark or just any shop where they have grey tracksuit bottoms, they have not had any small sizes left. And because I'm so cheap, I don't want to pay over like, I don't know, I don't want to pay over like £10 for a pair of tracksuit bottoms just because I'm just going to be wearing them around the house. So I've been looking in Primark and I've been looking in H&M. I love my H&M ones, but I haven't found any grey ones like forever um and yeah i went into primark and they finally had a pair of gray tracksuit bottoms for six pounds but i took these home and they are too small like they look like gray leggings when i put them on the weird thing is is like they fit really well around my waist but then the legs of them like they don't look that skinny but when you put them on they all kind of like stick to you and I don't know, they're just kind of like a bit too tight around like my thighs and they just look like I'm wearing like baggy grey leggings. They're just really not very flattering at all so I think I need to take these back and get a bigger size but I bet when I go back they won't have any size eights, I can like guarantee it. Okay so before I move on to the makeup bits I just want to mention something that I got in Urban Outfitters. I got a pair of gold hoop earrings just because these ones are so thin, like I saw these and I thought they were so delicate, like I'm not sure if you can really tell. They are so thin and lightweight, um, because I have a pair of gold hoop earrings from Claire's and I do really like them, I've really been enjoying wearing hoop earrings recently. I know they're not for everyone, a lot of people think they're quite chavvy, I used to think that too but for some reason now I really enjoy wearing them, <laughs> don't know why. Um, but yeah, I saw these in Urban Outfitters and I just thought they looked so much more lightweight than the ones I currently have because the ones from Claire's do kind of like weigh down my ears a bit but I took these home and I put them in yesterday and I literally can't even feel them in my ears which is what I want from like dangly earrings because I hate stuff that like pulls on my ears These were £10 which I thought was like a bit of a rip off but my friend did have a discount um, so they ended up being £7.50 but even £7.50 for like a pair of these I should have checked in Primark but I completely forgot and then I saw these in Urban Outfitters and I was like you know what I'm just gonna buy them because they might not have any like this thin and dainty anywhere else. So moving on to the makeup stuff that I got, um, first thing is actually I was gonna put this in my haul but I've realised that I've already uploaded the tutorial um, so if you want to see a tutorial on this look using the Anastasia Subculture palette then I will put it in the cards right here, it's literally like the previous video on my channel. Um, but yeah, I got the Anastasia Subculture palette, it finally arrived a couple of days ago, um, it looks like this and if you want to see my thoughts and review and also a dupe then watch the little video. I then went into Superdrug and did a bit of a splurge just because I am trying to find um, some better, not better, some good drugstore concealers because obviously I love the collection Lasting Perfection that is like my ride or die. I love the Maybelline Fit Me but I just really want to try some new concealers because I want to do um, obviously like more drugstore makeup on my channel or want to like vary things a bit and I want to try and find a drugstore dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. So I picked up a few concealers in Superdrug. The first one, which I was told is supposed to be a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age The Eraser Eye Concealer. Um, I tried this today, I do like it, but it's nowhere near as full coverage as the Tarte Shape Tape, like I don't know what people are talking about. Um, but I ended up buying this in the shade Neutralizer. This is supposed to be like a yellow corrector, but this shade is lighter than the lightest shade of actual concealer, if that makes sense. And because I have quite yellow toned like skin, I thought that this one would work a lot better for me because I swatched the shade like light or whatever the, um, you know, the normal shades are, swatched it on my hand and it was so dark and so orange that um, I decided to go for this one, which is called Neutralizer, which, um, yeah, I mean, it worked okay. It was pretty much like the same color as my face. And I feel like, oh hair up my nose. I feel like in the winter when I am a bit paler this will probably actually be too dark for me but Maybelline don't have any paler shades. They also don't have any dark shades either so like can you please sort this out Maybelline? That would be fab. The next concealer that I got was a Rimmel Match Perfection concealer in the shade Ivory. Um, 
I just got this because I really like the Match Perfection powder and I haven't really seen anybody talk about or use the Match Perfection concealer. I could be completely wrong, but I don't think I have. Um, and it comes in a squeezy tube, which actually feels like it's pretty much half full of air. Like, I can't even squeeze any out. Is there anything in here? I'm literally like full on squeezing it. I've literally completely squashed it and nothing is coming out. Is, is this a joke? There's like nothing in here. What? Okay, I'm not being funny. I'm squeezing as hard as I can and nothing is coming out. Whoa, okay, this is not okay. Am I really gonna have to like... Okay, I've had to fold it like this and now it's coming out? Look. It is literally half full of air. But, um, I swatched this in the shop and it seemed like it was going to be pretty good, but you don't get a lot of product in here, so that is one thing to note. I'm actually just going to swatch the uh, Maybelline one on my hand next to this so you guys can see. Um, so, this is the Maybelline one and then the one next to it is the Rimmel one. The Rimmel one is definitely more pinky. And then the final concealer that I got, I actually ended up ordering on Amazon because all of the actual ones in the store had been opened. Like, there was a tester there, and all of the concealers had been opened, and then I asked the lady that was working there if they had any of the drawers, like, underneath. She checked, and they didn't, so, like, all of those concealers have been ruined because people have, like, tampered with them. Makes me so angry, but anyway, I ordered this one on Amazon, and it's the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer in the shade Ivory. And I know that Emma really likes this concealer, and I think Zoella really likes it as well. Um, so I thought I would give it a go. It looked pretty pale when I swatched it in the shop, so that is that one there. But I would definitely be trying these in um, kind of like first impressions videos and stuff, and we'll see how they are. I then got a foundation, um, which is one that I've been meaning to get for the longest time. I absolutely love um, the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation, and I uh, did some research, and I've known for quite a while that Max Factor is owned by the same people as CoverGirl, um, so Max Factor makeup in the UK is basically exactly the same makeup as CoverGirl makeup in the US. I know that the um, CoverGirl, like their super popular, I can't remember what it's called, like Lash Blast Mascara or something? Blast Mascara? can't remember, but one of their mascaras is exactly the same as the Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara. So I saw that Max Factor had a 3-in-1 foundation, which is in the exact same bottle as the CoverGirl one, um, and I thought I would try it because obviously you can't get CoverGirl in the UK, so it's a bit awkward for me to talk about a foundation that we can't really get that easily. So I thought I would try the Max Factor one and see if it is the same or not. Um, sorry that you can't see it very well, it's like covered in plastic wrap, which is what I think everyone should do. This is like, you know, covered in plastic so people can't open it. But I got the shade Light Ivory, which I think is the same shade as my CoverGirl one. I basically just got the lighter shade. And then finally, I think this is the last thing of the whole haul, um, I got a, another one of the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colours. Um, they very kindly sent me a few the other day, and I tried this one, which is in the shade Mocha, um, which was one of the nudes, and I absolutely loved it. I featured this in my top 10 drugstore lipsticks video, um, which again, I'll try and put in the cards up here, um, or just like check back on my channel, because I'll probably forget. I've actually got one of these on today. I've got the grey one on which I think is called like what is this called like smoky or like stormy or something I don't know I'll put it in the description box and I saw that they did one in like a paler brownie nude shade so I thought I would try this one as well so I bought this one myself and this is in latte to go I went into boots and they had a massive queue so I was like I can't be asked with this went to super drug and they had a bunch of ones there but some of the ones had been opened I noticed and so I reached right to the back of where the liquid lipsticks were I literally picked the one from the back of the shelves Assuming it would be fine, obviously didn't open it to check because it was right from the back. It looked okay from the outside. Took it home, opened it, and it had been used. It had like lipstick all around the edges and like the brush was all mangled. And I was just like, <laughs> really? Like, for God's sake, people just use the testers. Like, please use the testers. Don't open the new ones because I then had to make a trip back to Superdrug to get a refund. Um, they didn't have it in store, so I ended up order ordering this on Amazon. 
can't even speak. So I got a refund luckily, they were very nice about it um, and yeah I ordered this on Amazon and I absolutely love it. I was wearing it in my previous video which is the testing the subculture palette but I'll just do a little swatch on my hand compared to Mocha because obviously Mocha is a bit darker. Um, they're both brownie nudes which I absolutely love. They are such perfect colours, um, so that one is Mocha and that one is Latte To Go. I feel like if I mix these together it would just be like the perfect nude shade ever, so there we go. Okay, so that is everything in this little haul, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I feel like I do way too many hauls on my channel, but the way I look at it is that YouTube is technically my job. Um, which is insane, like I absolutely love it, but the way that I look at it is like YouTube is my job, I technically work in makeup, and so when I buy more makeup, it's like for my job, you know? Like, I justify it by being like, oh, if I buy this makeup, I can put it in a video, you know? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would also love it if you would subscribe down below if you aren't already subscribed. Um, and also turn my notifications on, that would be amazing because, um, yeah. Sometimes my videos don't appear in subscription boxes, which sucks, but it's just the way that YouTube goes these days, so press the little notification bell if you actually want to see it when I upload. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. Also, if you want to follow me on any social medias, like, keep up to date with me on Snapchat, Twitter. I ask a lot of questions on Twitter about, like, upcoming videos and stuff, um, and I talk to you guys so much on Twitter. That is just served as nails as well. Um, so, yeah, I think that's everything. I hope you guys are having a lovely day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!